the cars of masses m1 and m2 or it should be actually two two cars of masses m1 and m2 are moving in circles of radii r1 and r2 respectively the speeds are such that they make complete circles in the same time t the ratio of the centripetal acceleration is well we know that when the same time period is right when the same time period is t we know that omega 1 is 2 omega 2 is actually equal to 1 is to 1 this is standard result what we derived for for angular for angular speed now we have been repeatedly writing this in the notes that thus ratio of centripetal acceleration for same t time period t will be ac1 to ac2 will be actually equal to r1 is to r2 so the correct option is option c so these are very standard results that we derive um, as soon as we write the um, derivation for angular sorry uh, the derivative for centripetal acceleration anyway let's try to understand the concept in detail so what we have here is car with say car 1 and car 2 so m1 mass m2 radius r1 radius r2 time period t time period t why because it is given that they are having the same time right they are in the same time same same time period now we know that centripetal acceleration is ac so it will be ac1 and ac2 right what is the formula for centripetal acceleration the formula for centripetal acceleration is ac is equal to omega square r what is omega is equal to omega is equal to 2 pi by t so what is ac is equal to ac will be equal to 2 pi by t the whole square into r so instead of ac1 we can write 2 pi the whole square by t square into r1 and ac2 will be ac2 will be 2 pi the whole square by 2 square into by t square into r2 now what has been asked the ratio of the centripetal acceleration so i'll start from start from ac1 by ac2 now will be equal to what is ac1 it is 2 pi the whole square by t square into r1 the whole divided by the whole divided by what is ac2 we have ac2 here which is 2 pi the whole square r2 by t squared so if you multiply this what do you get 2 pi the whole square by t square into r1 into this will be t square by 2 pi the whole square into r2 so 2 pi square by 2 pi square 1 t square by t square is 1 so all what is left here is r1 by r2 right which gives us the answer as option c okay right D did i miss a question here right so oh okay uh, the centripetal acceleration is in the next question okay what is approximately centripetal acceleration next question okay all right, all right so let's move on to the next question